Assalamualaikum. Welcome. You're watching CNN News 18 with me, Grihato Sadiqi. We are beginning the top of 2 p.m. with some breaking news that we are getting from the Patiala House Court. We have been told that a row has now erupted over dance performances that happened during a holy Milan function that was organized by the New Delhi Bar Association on the premises of the Patiala House Court complex. In fact, the Delhi High Court termed this dance inappropriate, but the president of the New Delhi Bar Association has defended the event. This is the latest that we are picking up as the controversy seems to have broken out over the Holy Milan Samaro that was organized on the premises of the Patiala House Court complex. We're also playing out those visuals for you. And as we do that, uh, we have our colleague uh, Ananya join us for more. Ananya, is this a usual affair when it comes to this Holy Milan Festival? It is usually done every year inside the Delhi Patiala House Court premises or this was a, uh, you know, a first of its kind? Well, you know, a uh, Holy Milan is usually organized uh, every every year uh, at various uh, courts of the uh, the national capital, in fact, including the Delhi's Patiala House Court. But such an incident, uh, uh, wherein in fact uh, uh, dances took place uh, and and uh, which have been termed appropriate by certain lawyers, is uh, something that has happened for the first time here. Okay. And uh, in fact, uh, the Delhi High Court took a cognizance of it. Uh, the, 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 there was a complaint that was filed to uh, the, the full bench of the Delhi High Court, which actually uh, presided over the full bench. Of the court presided over and has condemned this particular incident and passed certain kind of resolution. Though uh, the final resolution is not out yet, but uh, our sources that uh, the administrative side of the Delhi High Court have told us that uh, the High Court full bench has, uh, in fact, uh, uh, you know, condemned this particular incident. They've also stated um, uh, that uh, uh, the, the principal and district sessions judge of, uh, in fact, Delhi's Patiala House Court shall issue a show cause notice uh, uh, to these lawyers and uh, actually seek a response from them. Uh, they should seek a response from the NBDA, uh, the, the New Delhi Bar Association. And in fact, uh, it has also been directed that if whenever in future any kind of a function happens at this particular court, uh, uh, the principal and district sessions, judge, in fact, not only at this court, but at all other courts of the national capital as well, whenever such a function uh, is being asked for, whenever a permission is sought to uh, use the court premises for such a function, then uh, the principal district and sessions judge of that particular court should actually look into that how is the program going to take place and whether uh, something inappropriate or something that could hit, uh, in fact, uh, the integrity of this particular legal profession is uh, uh, something that has been looked into and uh, no kind of inappropriate instance took, uh, takes place and that's the reason why there's such a long resolution in part okay. passed by, uh, in fact, uh, the Delhi High Court full bench. So what happens next in this particular case and how, what is the response to these show cause notices, something we'll get to know and okay. it is a matter of time. Uh, absolutely, Anani. Uh, now we are, have been told that the president of the Bar Association has claimed that there was nothing wrong with the performances that were, uh, in fact, pack part of this Holy Milan uh, function. However, a show cause notice now has been sent to them. Is there in any way a possibility that we know how are they choosing to defend this event? And when the permissions really were sought, was all of that laid bare before the uh, the, the the group concerning uh, from whom the permissions requ were required for this event? Well, you know, uh, this is a defense that is coming in from the Bar Association president uh, uh, that the the Pala court organizers who were responsible for this uh, inappropriate thing that had happened at the. Uh, the Delhi's Patiala House Court, but uh, at this point of time, when the full resolution of the Delhi High Court uh, uh, would come out, we'll get to know as to what kind of a document was submitted before the Delhi High Court and whether or not there was a particular permission sought, because when the Delhi High Court uh, full bench would have sat, it would have sought a response from the principal district and sessions judge as well. So, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, initially it was being portrayed that it was functioned by the NB, uh, by the New Delhi Bar Association, but then now the president is coming out and saying, uh, uh, in fact, that it is um, the, the wrongdoing of the Patiala House Court organizers. So uh, what happened and what, what is the discrepancy between these two statements, we'll get to know in some time when, uh, in fact, the full resolution of the Delhi High Court is out. All right. Thank you so much for that, Ananya. We are right now shifting our focus. We'll move to the